just got greeted by the cops. Say it with me, a pigsty. We got a mystery box from Chemist Warehouse. Be a little bit more sophisticated. We're gonna do a taste test. I'm depressed and I just like chocolate. So clean. Really enjoying it. Find the extra two dollars to pay for the nice Blistex one in the tub. Cross that shit out. I'm gonna sign up for a gym. I rate this. Crazy. Call me whipped. Something's hurt in my earball. Full bag of chocolate. I have seen a few dodgy people in my time. We have to go back. No. No, that was really. I'm going back. Good afternoon, everybody. What is up? And welcome back to a brand new week in my life. It is currently Monday, and it is the first time since I woke up that I have stepped away from my laptop. Today has been one of the busiest days. I feel like Mondays are generally always pretty busy. Halfway through, I notice that I'm like getting deflated by the time even 12 o'clock hits. So I'm going to try and do everything just a little bit better this week coming. I am going to write myself like a little daily planner on Canva and I'm gonna like print it out mainly just for my morning. I want to start earlier so that when I get to work I feel refreshed and I feel accomplished and like I've done things during that day. I can't be having breakfast at 12 p.m. I do that way too often. Sometimes I don't even eat and then it gets to like dinner time and I'm like oh what have I actually eaten today? It's the amusely bar probably. I'm gonna cook some eggs, cheese and tomato because that is like my OG. What I used to make, what I used to love. I'm also also going to be signing up for a gym here in my new town because one they're way more cheaper than what my old town was um, which is funny because I live in a larger town now second of all I talked to my chiropractor last week and she said that I can start implementing gym a little bit more just not so much as what I was doing previously to hurt my like shoulder or my back so I was talking to my best friend about it last night and she said to me like you actually went to the gym so much and I think that's why you're starting to feel a little bit like shit about yourself because you didn't realize how consistent you were and consistency is key. Like there were some weeks that I was going five times a week and if there wasn't, I was going at least three to four times a week. Like I was going so many times and then all of a sudden I just stopped cold turkey and haven't gone for months. She made me see the light. So I'm gonna sign up for a gym and I'm gonna try and incorporate that into my morning. And especially because it's winter, I can't really go and like walk Luna because it will be rainy, chilly. Whereas like I can go to the gym, do my workout. Feel good about myself and know that I've got movement in. First things first is eggs. Having a bowl of eggs like this just feels so nostalgic to me. I didn't put cheese in it because the grater is dirty and I didn't want to wash it. It's just tomato and egg. I'm going to eat this um, and I'm actually going to have a lunch break. Normally I just work while eating. I'm going to watch a YouTube video and I'm going to take a shorter break. So once the YouTube finishes, I'm going to head back to work because we are super busy today. But I still want to prioritize eating and having a lunch. It's like bold. Rice tail. Cool, cool, cool. And I just want to be moving my body in a way that just like feels good. Many hours later and I'm actually just getting ready to go to bed. And I thought that instead of going on my phone like I usually do, which causes me to stay up all hours of the night, I would um, get some more reading in. I think I'm on like chapter seven, I think. And I'm actually really enjoying it. Hopefully this will be the journey into fantasy books for me. I will see you tomorrow. Nine times out of ten, I'm looking like a real slob lately. Anything that is oversized is what is helping me make me feel okay about my body. I have just got on this really large like crew neck. Just some like loose flowy pants that I don't even think should be worn out of the house. But I have worn out of the house so many times lately. Today I am going to end my lunch break with Casper. I didn't vlog anything yesterday after... I don't even know. I don't even remember what I vlogged. I was going to vlog us getting takeaways. But we were in like a rush through the drive through so didn't end up doing that and then I spilt my drink everywhere and it was just it was raspberry and coke so I'm so thankful that it went on like we had hardwood floors because that would have broken my heart having to like clean that and try and unstain that in a rental thankful that it was wood hopefully you're gonna be vlogging a little bit more today today is the day that Casper trains a little bit later so I'm just going to be focusing on editing the video I filmed last week so I can get that uploaded for you guys and potentially 
clean because this house, once again, is say it with me, a pigsty. Luna thinks that we're going in her crate, but she just needs to know that she's just coming in the car. I'm not gonna leave her at home because we always have lunch together, her, Casper, and I, um, when we do go out for lunch. Also, Christine always comes. I love it so much. I love having my besties work together and then I can see my bestie so much more than if they weren't working together. Feeling fantastic about that. But yeah, I haven't eaten today, so I'm low-key a little bit hungry, but I'm like, don't know what I want to eat. But anyway, it's Tuesday. I'm loving the book. I do remember vlogging the book last night. I was actually up to like chapter nine, I think, instead of whatever I said. But I'm up to chapter 14 now and I'm actually really loving it. I don't know if it's about the fantasy things. Like, kind of reminds me of the Hunger Games and I feel like I'm not really interested in that. However, I'm obsessed with the prince. I think he's great. But even the girl, the main character, just gives me a little bit of sassy vibe and I'm all here for it. I'm going to continue working for a little bit just before I head out because it's not quite lunch. I just needed to get ready and feel a little bit more like myself. I feel a little, a little bit better and I will check in with you later. I just got paid today. We have had no groceries. I don't remember the last time we did a grocery haul. Actually, I think it was last week. I'm pretty sure we did last week. Um, but we did a small one because I only get paid fortnightly. I really want to do like a breakdown budget of what I get paid, how I like sort out my money and stuff. I just don't know if I'm willing to let the whole internet know how much I get paid and how much my mortgage is and stuff because I can't deal with it. I'm gonna try and organize a little bit of a click and collect or just write down some groceries so I can get some groceries tomorrow. We were meant to have like lasagna toppers last night. I didn't want to cook and I didn't want anything that was in my um, freezer because we've got fish and chips. Instead of having fish and chips from a fish and chip shop, I really like to make homemade fish and chips just because I think it's a little bit healthier and obviously cheaper. So I do have fish and chips and I have lasagna toppers and I have sausages. So I am staying at my mum's house on Friday. So I'll probably be getting dinner with her. So I've put Whitney away so that Casper can just like sort out his own meal. Monday's already been, cross that shit out. I am not planning to leave tonight I'm gonna make fish and chips I think it's just gonna be the simplest and easiest and then I also think Sunday needs to be an easy meal so Sunday I want to do the lasagna toppers it leaves Wednesday Thursday and Saturday and I don't know if I want to have the sausages I like to like stretch things out for example we've got chicken tenders and we normally make wraps but we have had wraps at least once or twice every single week since living here so I kind of want to take a break from that and I feel the same as sausages probably gonna leave sausages for next week I need a figure out what I'm gonna have so that I can go shopping because this is how like I sort it out. I'm gonna think on some meals and I'll keep you updated. So I figured out what we're gonna have for breakfast and lunch but I didn't figure out what we're gonna have for dinner so I'm gonna contemplate it a little bit more. I'm probably gonna go read my book because I can't stop thinking about it. The thing is is that I don't want to like waste my night but at the same time I'm like I just want to chill. Actually you know what I should do is I should eat it the video because that's what I thought I was gonna do but then I'm like oh maybe I could do it Thursday. No Whitney do it now. Now. And then you can read as your reward. Finally finished editing it. All I need to do is just do the like coming up bit. And then I can upload it to YouTube, which I feel very good about. But my eyes are very, very sore. I'm constantly staring at a computer all day and then this evening. It's the only kind of like downside to having a job in front of a computer and also a hobby in front of a computer. How is your morning going? Because I just got greeted by the cops. Cops literally just came to my house asking me if I knew this person. Don't involve me in any people's dramas please. This is the outfit that I'm wearing to the chiropractor. Plain, very basic. It's gonna be a little bit chilly but hopefully the walk warms me up. Got myself a juice guys. Um, as you guys would have seen uh, coming back from my chiropractor appointment. Went all good. Still a bit tense in the shoulders but I think the way that I sleep probably is going to keep causing that issue. I cut up some carrots yesterday and I'm so thankful I did because I was just working away doing some emails that sort of stuff and I was like I'm so hungry because obviously I haven't eaten 11 o'clock. <laughs> I remembered that I cut up some carrots uh because I probably like my theory was I was just going to go have a look in the fridge see if anything magically appeared. If not I was just going to come back and do some work until I got really hungry that I probably just needed to eat something anyway. But then I noticed I had carrots, so now I can do a little snacky snacky, healthy snacky snacky, and do my work and actually feel a little bit better. Mmm, carrots for the women. Now I can go back to work, feel a little bit more energized after one carrot day. So energized. Let's get back to work. Let's get back to work. If I sizzle in.
oh yeah, she's looking good. A while later. Oh my god. I thought the reflection was um, making my like, uh, <laughs> my legs <laughs> so much. I thought the reflection was making my ring look like green. Like, you know how some fake jewelry go that color but i was like it's not fake so i don't know anyway it's a couple of hours later now i am just making myself a little pizza because otherwise i was probably not gonna eat back a burger um by the way it wasn't broken um i mentioned that that was broken but it was not a couple phone calls and stuff this afternoon so i thought oh, like i could better eat before i don't get time and then i end up calling everybody four o'clock and i'm at my appointment decided to make some pizza and then i'm just gonna watch a little bit of youtube while i'm eating this you can't even see me and then as soon as i'm finished i will be back to the grind happy wednesday <laughs> Almost 6 p.m. and I have just cleaned the kitchen. I'm currently watching a YouTube video. I have got all of my dinner prepped. We're having deviled sausages again just because it's so quick and easy. Literally love it so much. So I've prepped all of that. I've got the veggies in there, I've got the roasties in there, and I am pre-making Casper's lunch for the next couple of days. Making him a chicken, bacon, and mozzarella tortellini, and I'm just gonna use classic tomato pasta sauce. So with it as well. I had a few people be like, oh, I'm sure like he can make his own lunch and that sort of stuff. And while you're right, I have never been the one to ever make my partner food. In this particular relationship, I love it. I thrive on it. I love being able to like make the dinner and like make his lunches and that sort of stuff. So that's exactly what I'm doing and I'm totally fine with being that girlfriend. I want to send him to work knowing that he has got his breakfast, his lunch, and some snacks. Call me crazy. Call me whipped. Call me in love. Call me anything that you want under the bloody sun because I do not care. That is the life that I want to live. So I'm making him his tortellini while he's out at the moment. He's doing something for his friend. I'm trying to avoid going into the lounge where I work because uh, it is atrocious. I can't deal with that right now. So I'm just staying in here cooking while watching some YouTube. We're going to North Carolina. Cheryl, for three and a half hours, I didn't anything. I don't know why. One very large bowl and one very small bowl, but hopefully that even portion. Pop some cheese on there and I'm going to wait for it to cool down a little bit. There I can put the lid on. This one has to have glad wrap because I don't know that all of my Tupperware stuff went. This looks so good and I would normally devour this but obviously this is for his um, Thursday and Friday at work so I cannot eat any. <laughs> Dinner is cooked. Looks so good. I feel like we always have heaps of sausages when we have dual sausage but I love it. It's one of my staple meals. I'm gonna watch Shortland Street now. Push it, push it. Good afternoon. I feel like this week has just not been my week. I don't even know what I've vlogged. Like, I think I say that every time because I'm not in my editing game. So I don't know. I haven't edited it. But, guys, I went to the warehouse yesterday. And I'm not going to show you what else I got. Because I am so freaking embarrassed. I know that I've been talking about my body. Um, and how I'm not, like, happy with it. And if I just showed you what I got from the warehouse. It would show you, it would tell you one or two things. Tell you that I'm depressed or it would tell you that I'm depressed and I just like chocolate. I got these cute little dudes and I'm going to show you them because how could you not want one when one looks like that? How freaking cute. Anyway, these were 57 cents for like a little bag. So I did indeed get them. Did I need them? No. Today has not been a good day. I, for the life of me, could not figure out why I was so like uninterested in doing my job. I was just taking, like I was doing it, I was just taking it at a very very slow snail pace and then all of a sudden an hour and a half goes by and I'm pretty much finished everything that I needed to for the morning so that feels I just about lost that chocolate and I would have been so sad but that feels phenomenal to have like most things finished now and now I can actually have a break and eat something that's not chocolate mm. We're going to a quiz night tonight, which I'm low-key excited about. I'm going to make myself something, and then I'm probably going to head back to it, because that's all my life consists of right now. But I am staying at my mom's house tomorrow, so I'll probably, once I get back from the quiz night, um, will need to organize, like, something. Saturday's outfit, um, sort learn around. Mum is so good to me, though. Like, I don't need to bring any food when I stay with mum, because uh, Luna just eats the, like, food that the other dogs eat. She loves it. 
and we love to see it. But I'm so excited to stay at my mum's house actually. Getting my nails done tomorrow. It's just gonna be like a good little bit of like a self-care back in my old routine. Um, because I feel like I've been so consumed with my new relationship that I haven't really like had any me time or me and my friend time. So I'm going to see a couple of friends tomorrow night and then I'm gonna see another friend on Saturday and then I'll come back home. And I'm just so excited. We're like working, 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 working hard today. Let's just excuse that my hair is uh, greasy. I need to find an outfit for the quiz night. And I don't know how to look presentable. A whole bunch of builders going. Also, update on this. Absolute shit. Find the extra two dollars to pay for the nice Blistex one in the tub. We're worth it in the end. Also, probably need to really go through and do a deep clean of my closet because I'm just feeling like I'm not wearing any of this shit. <laughs> I could do this little number. The thing is, is, I've got a lot of top options. I don't have a lot of pan options and that's kind of where I get stuck on what to wear. These were located in an extra cold room in my house so I'm feeling very cold right now. What do we think of this? Plain Jane. Misty girl said that she was just going casual so maybe this with my like converses could be a good black on black moment. I need to sort my hair out. Once I have something in my car, I kind of never take it out. Oh, I'm climbing over a fence. Yes, yes, Yes! Oh, sorry, I found my chapstick I've been looking for. It's in my vehicle. I do not want to walk through there. This is the final look. Final thing that I'm going to do before. I'm not leaving for a little while, so I'm just going to spray myself in perfume. Guys, I haven't been out of the house, like actually properly, properly out of the house. So I haven't worn deodorant. I also mentioned a couple of vlogs ago, I don't even know, the vlogging the game is all up in my head. I don't know how long ago I vlogged this, but I mentioned that I like put all of my like everyday stuff on this like little area that was in the bathroom. Now I transferred it into the room. And I was so good until I went away on the weekend and everything is just all over the show now and it's not put back where it belongs. So have I been doing my moisturizer every day? No, I have not. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Today is a day that I'm super excited for. Staying with my mum, which seems so like, oh my god, you're excited that you're staying with your mum. But I so am. Probably not going to spend a lot of time with my mum, honestly, because I have a girls hangout tonight. Um, and then I'm getting my nails done during my work day. But I'm taking Luna with me so that she can hang out with Billy and Piper. And it's going to be such a wholesome day. I'm just finishing packing up. I managed to pack like a one-nighter just in a new old bag so i'm happy about that i have never left my house ever even if it's staying away for one night like my house is such a mess and i've never left it like this before and i'm so stressed out it is what it is but it's going to quickly do a little check at work i'm gonna um it's not quite like work time but i just want to i'm obviously driving for a little bit so i just want to be on top of everything before the start date and it is looking really really good which is awesome um, so I don't have to stress out. I can definitely do all of this within today, um, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to pack this up. I'm also going to bring my laptop just in case I want to do some editing tonight. That would be really cool. That would really help me out. So I'm going to pack those and then I'm on the road. Luna ready for a road trip. <laughs> I've been going through my photo albums recently and I'm noticing that I'm continuously getting the same kind of like neon colors. Um, I've already had green, I think I've had orange a couple times, I think I've had yellow a couple times. I've definitely had like a few different variations of pinks and potentially purple. So I'm trying to go outside of the box because obviously I love the colors. Like this green is phenomenal and I managed to keep it on for a couple more days. I rescheduled my appointment from Tuesday to Friday. Um, so I've kept it on and it's like holding up so super super well i'm just thinking i'm also going away for a conference for my work next week i don't know if i really want to have like bright bright colors and obviously we're going into like winter pretty much now i don't even know when we're meant to get into winter like i will share with you potentially what color i'm gonna get i was away for probably less than an hour and she's so clean a clingy little girl and she's also used to kind of like the routine of like we only stay here for a day she's not prepared to stay here for the night so she's like okay mom we've got nails down like come on it's crazy to me how dogs are so like aware of the days and the times and kind of like 
a routine. But this is my nails. A red moment. I thought, yeah, I know. Do you like the red nails? She's ready for us to go. Because I'm going to a conference. Be a little bit more sophisticated. Have some nice mature nails. And I'm glad I went with this color. I'm really, really happy. It's been some time. And I'm still just working away. I was having this like little realization. And I obviously mentioned in last week's vlog about how I kind of thought that I regretted moving and that sort of stuff. And I'm not saying that this realization here today is kind of like, yeah, I should have stayed. Being at my mum's house, I it's like fully fenced and I'm able to leave the door open um, for the dogs to like come in and out. And it's only like open like a small fraction, but it's such a beautiful day today. I don't, I don't know, I think it's like 15 degrees or whatever. And the thing that I hate the most about the house currently is there's like very little grass for Luna to run in and out of. So I can't leave the door open for her because one, we have an inside cat now. Two, there's just like no grass for her to run around in. So if I was to leave a door open, it would just be to like the concrete outside. But like knowing that she's able to run around in the grass with the like doggy friends and like have the sun on her back, like just fills me with so much joy. I know it's probably so stupid, but like knowing that like when you have a dog, knowing that they have like a safe little area outside and it's fully fenced and knowing that like you can just leave the door open, they can come in when they choose, just like makes me so happy. Trying to think of the positives of living in a completely different town with a completely different house completely different environment all that type of stuff but yeah i definitely do miss my house <laughs> good morning everybody happy saturday i'm just currently in the bathroom just preparing myself for the day my friend last night she gave me some like clothes to go through and i really liked this like green sweater type of thing but it's quite itchy so i do definitely want to give it another go i'm going out for breakfast with my friend i didn't really want to like risk having to be so itchy and like uncomfortable while i'm talking to my friend so that's why i'm not wearing that but i'm just gonna brush my teeth before i continue talking i'm on like a little bit of a time crunch this morning i edited all the way up until like this point feels phenomenal i'm really needing to wash my hair so a ponytail will do today even though it looks terrible i've only got a about 20 minutes probably 15 now to kind of get my life sorted then head to my dad's place because my dad is doing an oil change on my car i'm gonna put some bronze and drops on and then i'm gonna put a little bit of blush on a little bit of mascara yeah well, a little bit like myself i was talking to uh my boyfriend about this um so obviously I, like i feel like i can freely speak about it last night when i hung out with my friends it was so like fun i feel like free is not the word to describe how i felt just coming back to my hometown and being able to go and see my friends and come home at whatever hour you know obviously within reason because i'm not like living in my own house still come at like a reasonable time how phenomenal was it that i could just go and see my friends just hang out I came home at like 10 30. Like, that's a pretty decent time to like be hanging out with your friends. Like, we went out and then we went to her house, and it just feels so like freeing. I just feel like freeing is such a the wrong word because. I don't feel like I am trapped anything like that in my relationship like that's definitely not what I'm like getting at it just feels like it was nice to do like a girly thing you know you're in a healthy relationship where there is no need to communicate or like like all worry about it we pretty much like knew that we were just gonna message each other if we could or when we could I rang him he asked me a question and I just rang him because it was easier and then I was like oh like what are you doing tonight and he's like oh, I'm gonna go do this such and such and then probably have an early night and I was like cool great I'm gonna be doing this and then he's like sweet and then we were going to potentially call but I was busy with my friends and I think he just wanted to go to bed he literally messaged me and was like good night like have a great sleep have a great time stay safe kind of thing and then I was like oh all good have a good night and i didn't need to worry like i didn't worry i wasn't stressed like i wasn't on my phone like i'm always on my phone if there's a person i'm in a relationship with if there's a person that i'm talking to like in the talking stages if they're not messaging me some like i get so anxious about it and i'm like what is going on like probably nothing but then also probably something you know i have seen a few dodgy people in my time like it was so incredible and it felt so nice to be able to be so secure in that relationship that i could actually have fun with my friend and it was so exciting and I loved it so much. Message my bestie girl as soon as like I got home and like I just explained to her how I was feeling about the whole like not texting but like knowing that we're literally all good. Like if I needed him he would be there and if he needed me like I would be there. Like there was no need to communicate 24-7 about where I am doing or like where I am going or what I'm doing. It was just 
so exciting. So I'm definitely gonna go out again. Not that we went out to like a pub or anything, but like I'm gonna go, I'm definitely gonna go out again and see my friends because it was so nice knowing that I'm so secure. Like I haven't been out with my friends like that probably since we got together. And if I have, he's definitely probably come with me. I love it. I still need a pack. Like, it's so funny how I literally stayed for one night and everything is everywhere. At least it's my mum's house and it's not like an Airbnb. I'm like stressing out if I forget it. Like, at least I can, I can just come back. And I'm literally going to be here tomorrow anyway. We're like having lunch at a restaurant. Um, like with the whole cousins and family and stuff. So I'm going to stop vlogging. I'm going to put my mascara on and then I'm going to probably head out the door. And I'll talk to you. Probably when I'm back home. We're going to the Choco Festival. Truck Fest. I think it's called Choco Fest or something, okay? Yeah. But we're in. Oh no, it's Choco Stock. And we're in Wellington and I'm gonna eat so much chocolate. I reckon. Yeah, um, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. I don't really like this. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to try it? It's really nice. <laughs> We just came back from the chocolate festival. I have eaten so much chocolate. Nice. And now I'm broke. And now, we've, yeah, we'll do a little like uh, haul of all the chocolate we got. But I tried to vlog. It's just so freaking chaotic in there. Who's a bigger haul, please? <laughs> Read it out a bit. Get some room between vendors. Very, very packed in a very, very small place. Did lots of good purchasing. We spun a wheel. There were some there I didn't actually like. But it's kind of hard to tell someone that you don't like their chocolate when they're like trying to sell it. We're going to head back home, probably eat some proper food. But we also brought a brownie, peanut butter brownie. So I'm so excited to try that. I thought I would share with you what we got. We got this free Antipodes facial cream. This is how much chocolate we got. Full bag of chocolate. So they didn't have a taste tester for this, but it's chocolate mousse. And I was like, I can't pass this up. So I got some. This is what it looks like. They're all dried. So hopefully it's nice. We won both of these. The very first thing we did when we walked in there was do like a guessing game. He won the strawberry and cream at milk chocolate. We got it 99% right. He gave us one and then we spent $20 yeah, from this yeah. brand. And we got uh, original milk chocolate because we got so many like different flavors that we thought we n might need to even it out. And then we got peanut butter dark chocolate. Packaging's are super cute. But then we spun a wheel because we spent over $20. Um, and then we won strawberries and cream. Which I'm glad we didn't win like any oat or the ones yeah. that we tried and didn't like. And then this was one of our like favorites by Zo Coco is the brand, I think. Mint white chocolate encased in our 70% dark craft chocolate. And this was the last one. So we had to get it. This I think was the last one as well, right? Um no, it was there's only there's only like three or four left. Oh yeah. The stacks are big, so there was you know, Yeah, they were huge stacks this one. Um this is butter boom. So it's burnt butter and cinnamon and chocolate. I thought this was like a very different flavour for us. So I'm glad we got that. Then look how incredible this packaging looks. Like I wish you guys could see. I'll show you in the daylight. This is is ginger nutty and what? That's what you can. This is ginger nutty. This was phenomenal. It was like chocolate and then you bit into it and there was like ginger crunch bits and it was absolutely phenomenal. I thought we'd pick this one up. Look at the cool, like this is how you open it. You open it like that instead of peel it, which I thought was cool. So, this is the chocolate we paid for when we first got the ticket. And I tried it when we went and brought our peanut butter brownie and I did not like it. It's the coconut and ginger chocolate. So. What do we get from there? the Maori people? <gasps> Where is that one? Did you take it? Did you pick it up? Oh, well, you picked it up. No, I didn't. Oh my god, we have to go back. No. No, that was really. I'm going back. That was so good. No, we're going back. No. Okay, see ya. We are so lucky. We went. <laughs> So we rushed back and then we met the dude. So Andrew, if you're ever oh, watching this, <laughs> we ran into him because he needed to pay like for his parking or something. And I was like, oh my God, because he recognizes Casper. He's like, oh my God, um, like how are you guys going? You're going back in there or something. And I was like, oh my God, actually, no, we needed to talk to you and explain the situation. And then he's like, okay, cool. Go like tell his partner about the situation. We get in there. Then the door people are like, oh, hold on. You don't have a ticket. And then they're like, oh, I remember you. <laughs> And so we rush up and then end up like talking to the person. She finds it so hilarious. So she gives us this. No, no, no. Right, I won. 
No, she that's the one that we oh. brought. She gives this one and it's like all the nutty, called everything nutty they call it. And then she's like, because I said we got to the car and we like told her what happened. And she's like, you got all the way to the car. She's like, for that, have this one. And it's like this olive oil one. And I think by my like one of our faces, she could tell we might not have liked it. So she was like trying to explain about it. But it's the number one sold out. I didn't so, try that one though. Yeah, no, neither. Mm. Because she said that it was like sold out. So I was like, what's the point of trying it if we can't buy it? And she said, this is so good and it was like sold out and she said she just magically found one so she said for our, all of our troubles take one home so i feel very lucky that we went back in there we've had such a good day of all of our chocolates and then we've got our peanut butter brownie to try anyway we're gonna head back home so we can see lulu and get some dinner what an evening what a turn of events that was i'm ready to go home i'm so tired <laughs> We're gonna do a taste test for the Baruch Vale Union. This is ginger beer, lemon lime bitters, alcohol. I wonder what, oh, it's vodka. Lemon lime bitters or do you want the vodka? I mean, do you want the lemon lime bitters or do you want the ginger beer? Well, I guess we'll both try and then, right? Ginger beer, we're gonna try ginger beer first. Oh my God. <laughs> try it. That is so good. I've never said that about any alcoholic beverage other than Midori. It's just not as strong as a normal yeah, um, ginger beer, beer but it, you know, it does taste like ginger beer. And now this is the lemon lime bitter. This is, I want this one to be nice because I love lemon lime bitters. I kind of like the ginger beer better because I feel like I can taste the vodka a little bit more in this. Yeah, I just noticed that the flavours ain't as strong as they normally would mm. be, but they're still quite dominant. I don't taste any vodka in them. Do not. I taste more vodka in the lemon lime. I actually love that. I'd rate this 9 out of 10, and the lemon lime bitter is like an 8 out of 10. How much are these? $20. Oh yeah, I'll take. I'll get a couple of these for go, go to a party. Chases after with my beers and stuff. I'll take these for like the parties where mm. like there's beer palm. Yeah, yeah. Is, like, easy, easy to, to drink. drink. Woohoo! I don't normally drink, so I'm excited to find something that like tastes really good. Anyway, we're gonna drink these and go to bed. And go to bed. What are we drinking then? Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna do a mystery box from Chemist Warehouse. We got a mystery box from Chemist Warehouse. We're gonna open it. This is such a fun Saturday night. Close my eyes and you pass it to me. Yeah. But when we go on our Euro trip, is there actually like recently priced as well? Adapter, thank you, Chemist Warehouse. I was not expecting that to be the first thing. Like, wait, yeah, no, that's why I could do it on first. Oh, a loofah. Cute. Well, actually, you can have this loofah because the other ones that we have are the same colour, so how would we not? Oh, so you yeah. can have this one and I can have the other one. Okay, guess what it is before you open your eyes. Oh, is this like a body butter? <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, it's a butter balm. This is uh -huh. Mugu Natural Sheer Sorbet. Intense moisturizing vanilla but butter butter balm. Intense, so does that mean for really dry skin? Oh, on the feet, hands, or even lips. Oh. So you can do it on your face as well. It's pretty cool. Love that one. I guess what this one is too. Okay. I want Pacific. Oh, this is a... Oh, it's either a shampoo. I can feel like a shampoo, not a body wash. Let me smell it. It's a shampoo. No, it's not. Is it not? Is it a body it's wash? It's not. It is a conditioner. Oh my god. Sunkin is, is, is an expensive brand. And this is fucking ginormous. But you can use this. We were literally talking about how you wanted to get some um, conditioner. So that lemon... Oh, they taste... Oh, no, no, no. We that back. Have I smelled that before? It's like a lemony, lemony, zesty... <laughs> You're not even in the video. This thing just keeps moving on me. <laughs> Okay, can we do another one? Oh, you zesty. Zest. Like a zest. Zest. I don't know. It's just. <laughs> Boom, and that's it. That's all it was in it. Is that, that was all it was in it? Yeah. Oh, because that would have been a lot pricey. And I reckon probably this oh, was good. Just, well, thanks for coming along. I'll see if it was worth 20 bucks. Um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. days was it that i told everyone that i would have a grocery haul it is now sunday quarter past six we finally did groceries so mm. we have eggs 
Who? What? We. Oh, he finally did the grocery. Spinach in for the quiche, spinach wraps, tasty cheese. He said curly fries, but these are the only ones that they left in there. There's only a couple of bags left. Crinkle. No. I see crinkle. Oh, yeah, too. Two oh. strings. That's okay. The thing is, I organized what I was going to buy for what I was going to eat so long ago that I can't remember what these were for. But I got shaved champagne ham and manuka smoked ham. Something's hurt in my ear ball. My ear ball. I got some cheese sticks. Ah, is there something wrong with my ear? No. Like, in it? In it? Yeah, no, there's nothing in there. <laughs> Gold of bacon. And we got two bacon pieces, and I feel like I may have doubled up for no reason at all. Got some meatballs. Now, there's a cheesy one, and then, but I said that you yeah, looked like you, you, you read I got fucking English. <laughs> you asked for Chipotle. Chipotle? Yeah. I got you Chipotle because. You're the one having nacho. It's Chipotle. Chipotle is like a bit of like a hot spice. Oh, it's not like hot, but it's a bit of a sour, spicy sour cream. Oh. Then we got two of these honey proteins. This is what Kisser has for his little breakfast. <sighs> Sixteen dollars right here. Then we've got some chicken crumpy shapes. We've got some sweet and sour. We're gonna try and make sweet and sour pork with rice. Pizza paste. Then we got some nacho mix. I don't know, I understand what you want that for. Well, because I got some cocoa powder and I also got some oats. And I wanted to try to create the like overnight oats. And oh. some of them buy cocoa. But also, it's good if I want to make like a chocolate cake or something, you know. I got some tomato and her pasta sauce. Pancake mix that was actually meant for this Sunday. Apple juice. We got some bananas. Final two of these, like our first We got two crumpets, they were two for five. I thought to myself that these would. Were... <laughs> I thought for myself that these would be good for some breakfasts. So I got, I got the gold kiwi fruit, two broccoli. Next thing, I couldn't find the exact one that you were talking about. Was and granny smoke apples. Yeah. So I've got the one that was the cheapest and the second. So. Oh yeah. Top slaw and I got some rolled oats because I really want to try the like overnight oats and then last but not least we got some pizza bases and that is everything. That also concludes the uh, vlog for this week because I haven't obviously edited this part but up until Saturday night like 34 minutes so gonna be a long one so I probably should end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day or night wherever you may be and I'll see you all next time. Bye!